Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution. Are you got to play through episode 25 with the series here? You heard it here, folks. First on the channel, episode 25, and wait, what is going on? Why does everything look different? Well, that is a great question, random viewer. Let me explain to you what happened. Um, so I made a mistake in the last episode, or maybe it was the episode before that. I can't remember now. Um, where I accidentally gave like there was a flooding situation and I gave all the victims like I don't know 10 million dollars a piece or something which equated to like 25 billion dollars in reparations um, it was very bad <laughs> so uh, I had to re-roll a previous save to make up for that because it bankrupt the economy and destroyed the country and even though I'm okay with losing to certain things in the game I am not okay with losing to something that is not very well explained when that pop-up comes up for that, and I explained it even when it happened before, I, I had explained that I had bankrupt my country previously in another uh, gameplay I did, uh, actually during a live stream once when I was playing this game. And uh, it's because the screen is not very clear on what you're actually giving. It tells you want to give, it, it talks about giving money to the victims, and then it gives a dollar amount, and it's in the millions, but it doesn't necessarily tell you how that's being split up. So is the amount you put in there going to be divided among the families? Is it per family? Is it per victim? Is it um, just for the location? Like what is the amount for? And it doesn't tell you that. So I being naive, put 10 million in and uh, yeah, <laughs> it bankrupt the country. So I wasn't going to lose to that. I think that's garbage. It doesn't, it's not explained very well on what's going to happen. Uh, so I'm just not going to live for it. So we basically just went back in time. We're not that far back, but we are before the bombings of Tokyo. So Tokyo is still a city. Um, maybe going back in time actually was a good thing because hundreds of thousands of people didn't lose their lives. Nah, I'm just kidding. North Korea is probably going to bomb them again, but we're not at war anymore and stuff like that. So we're not that far back. Uh, all the contracts that I did went through. The inflation's going down right now like it was before. Um, so it's not like we're super set back. Um, and things are going pretty good in the country. Popularity is nice and high. Uh, we're still getting rid of these here. So yeah, we'll just keep rolling with it as it is. I definitely don't want to uh, lose the game to something so dumb as something not being properly explained enough on how it functions. <sighs> All right. So we're still waiting for like a year for this to be or half a year for that to be built. Um, I did have I did see that the freedom of expression thing had gone through, but I don't think the freedom for education had gone through. No, that went through. So it was the freedom of expression, culture, ah, criticism of the state, freedom of expression. Yeah, so people really wanted that. So we're going to allow that to be a thing. And that should give us the rest of our big population boost there. Except for all these people that are clearly upset about it. President's lifestyle. I don't know. People are just retarded. Okay. Go ahead and infiltrate this unit, this organization again. And we better check and see if we've got, because there's not that many followers here. Had an alteration in a cafe. Oh my God. Or an altercation. Not an alteration. Unemployment rate is dropping down to 5%. That's pretty snazzy. Um, I did want to, because I don't think I had done it yet. Yeah, I want to cut this back down to that 700,000 goal. Saves us some money here. Um, believe it or not, we do have a budget excess right now of $2 billion. It'll probably burn out, but we still got our treasury reserve of $5.9 billion. I'd like to keep it that way. I really don't want to get any debt. That this organization you got in fighters for integrity, okay. Ordered sex toys. Well, and redid the wallpaper in his kitchen. Holy crap, this guy's a psycho. Which one is it, though? Rented a van. Okay, I'm going to guess it's the guy who joined a forum on a bomb-making website. Let's see if we get it right. You found absolute nope so it must be this guy yep so it was him instead <laughs> who would have guessed all right well we'll place these guys under surveillance once we're here and I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle more military bases 
We're going to do one more right now. Uh, there's way too many here. Um, so we're going to start focusing on the one. Well, no, no, no. I'll come back to this. Let me focus on the ones in mainland. I said I would do the mainland ones first. There's three of them here. This one's being dismantled. Uh, I'm going to say that one of these two could be dismantled next. So we'll take everybody at this one and move them. And we will dismantle this base. Nice. You gotta get these military bases cut down. There's two here as well. We're already dismantling one. <clears throat> and this one we're letting stay. Oh my god, everybody's always so upset. Police union strike. Funeral with We are not going to be yeah, salary um the medical strike is coming up one now. Of my men succeeded in we're not going to be raising anybody's salary. In fact, once inflation gets down to about 30%, I'm going to be lowering everybody's salary a little bit. Not a lot, just a few bucks here and there. You'd be surprised when it comes to salary for federal employees how much money you'll save. In fact, I'll show you guys. Like, so if we were going to go into here, say we're going to, like, education, we're just going to lower it by, like, two bucks. $66 million. So if I just go through and lower all this by like a dollar or two, it, uh, it'll it start to add up, especially where we got most people. So we will be lowering everybody's salaries at some point. One of my men. Uh, but yeah, like I said, not till inflation goes down. Yeah, so we're not that far back from where we were. 39%. I want to see that sweet, sweet 30%. Boy, should I just go to war with Congo and get it over with? I'm half tempted to just do it. I really want to connect these two areas. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to do. We'd be able to take them out so quick. Would the, would the United Nations get involved? Probably. We haven't found anything on Congo yet. Woman rights is looking good at least. We just got to work on employment. Why don't we spend a little bit of money? Well, actually, better yet, why don't we look at our budget excess? Two billion. Um, partial dismantlement. Nice. Why don't we work on, okay, let's do taxation actually. Let's do company tax, no, company turnover tax. What if I go up to 20%? Like what's everybody's opinion here? How do people feel? I mean, parliament hates it. I'm gonna do it, boy. I think I, hmm. I feel I want the extra money so bad. We already have a budget excess and a treasury reserve. Ah, I'll just hold on a minute. How's crime rate? It's getting low, but we could do better. We can do better. I I considered increasing this, the the um, stock of surveillance cameras. It's not that expensive. If we put like a hundred thousand cameras in, it would only cost us literally less than a million dollars. If we did 150,000, it costs us almost 4 million. We are gonna do this. I know people aren't gonna like it. Oh, actually the people freaking love it, sweet. And automatic radars. We need less police actually if we do this, by the way, which is why I'm considering doing it. And it'll bring our crime rate down, believe it or not, by a lot. Okay. So that was 5,000, just do three. Everybody loves it. Safety. In fact, Parliament even loves it. So we'll do that too. Cool. So that's that. I've got a couple other freedom stuff I want to do as well. Hmm. Compensation for this. I'm really trying to end this here. We'll throw another 200 million at it. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating... 
Okay, I'm not worried about these strikes right now or the uprisings. The riot. We could probably deal with this, just get it over with as all these go. Nice. Nice. That was beautiful. See if we can catch these guys. But this one here will definitely clean right up. All right. Um, I guess we'll just wait right here for them to show up. Okay, hold on. Oh, I was going to throw some tear gas in here. There we go. I pretty much got all of them. The military shoot and kill? Who? Where? Oh my god, why is the military getting involved? I didn't call them in. And if I did, it was an accident. Well, that's alright. We still got 100% approval rating. We have subdued the rest. I wonder if North Korea is going to drop those bombs again. They're still at war. It's true that the blue. Thirty eight percent for inflation. Ooh, one of our organizations cleaned up again almost. Terrorist organizations. Yes, conflict's still going. We'll see if they drop another bomb. They had dropped two. That was so crazy. I kind of hope it happens again, actually. As bad as that sounds. <laughs> nice. So we got rid of uh, another organization. Law and criticism of the state kicks in. We can go back to woman now because there was stuff here I wanted to do. Contraceptive, promote, I think. No, no, no. Abortion legal on demand. Do you wish to send in the army to disperse the demonstration? Nope. The decree. They now can do this legally. Criticize the state. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that I was had queued up a university to be built, and I don't think I have that anymore. Yeah, so I want that again. One university. Go for it. Uh, to go to war with Congo or not to go with war with Congo? That is the question. I really feel like I should wait. I think it, that the UN is just going to get involved if I do this. Our people are unhappy. Well, why? 131. Employment's going up. It's just health, mainly. And national wealth a little bit. Women's rights, though. I mean, everything's looking pretty damn good, I'd say. Um, Health. Is that worldwide? Let's see. One of these is worldwide. This must be worldwide. 
Oh, since the start of the game. This is development comparison to other countries in the world. I mean, this is pretty good. It's just health and national wealth, and I guess women's rights could be a little bit better, but... All right, health. Change the retirement age. People want the retirement age to go up? Why? What if it goes down? People don't like that. They would rather it be... Has an impact on employment and the funding of Social Security. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. National health expenditures, life expectancy is still super low. Ooh, yikes. Budget economy in billions it is an exemption from taxes and social contributions to give incentives to businesses to give their employee employee supplemental pension. These payments are financial investments and are handed over to specialized institutions. We get a budget economy. Really? Budget cost. Really? We get $10 billion for this? What is it? People are for it? It is an exemption from taxes and social contributions. Tax exemptions for companies using retirement by capitalization to give their employees supplemental pensions. Well, since we got rid of the Social Security program completely in our country, maybe this isn't a bad idea. And that would be $10 billion free. And people are all for it. And the parliament's for it. I don't see any reason not to go for this. Um, let me just wait for the retirement age one to kick in first. Just see if that changes anything. I find that whole thing to be kind of odd. One of my men. Fall in number of police officers. They didn't lose that many police officers. Holy crap. What just caused that to drop? Social old folks. Wow. Increasing the retirement age was a bad idea. Said people would be happy for it, but clearly not. The old people are ticked. They're really upset. Probably a good thing I didn't do the other thing as well, because that might have even been worse. Holy crapola. And North Korea drops the bomb on atomic on Japan. So it was inevitable. It was meant to be. It was meant to be Japan. Oh, Jesus. That war. That means that uh, Egypt's probably still going to go to war with uh, Sedan, or Sedan here at some point. All right, let's go ahead and do what we do best and spend money. Criticism of religion, violence, censorship for minors. Who loves that? Freedom of expression. We seem to have a lot of people who, oh no, censorship for minors. Confirm. Censorship for minors already for porn, so that's probably not a bad thing. We have strong suspicions that this organization is pro Wait, what was the order? I didn't even pay attention, Tokum. Yeah, he ordered explosive, explosive devices, so I'd say that's probably accurate. All right, inflation 37%. Oh man, I'm so excited, guys. Human rights, liberty, culture, yeah, yada, la, 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 law on number of speed, checkers, oh, Jesus Christ.
Fibonacci. Lots happening right now. A lot of laws went through that people didn't like too. I should never have messed with the unemployment, but I thought that people would like that. What? Well, the queen was stroking, as usual, the neck of a prize bull weighing more than 1,200 kilograms. The famous novelist, who knew full well the habits of his victim, suddenly sprayed me with red paint, then violently hit the four-legged animal, howling down with cows. The panic-stricken animal charged straight into... The red and stabbed the head of state, who was dragged along tens of meters, suffering from multiple hemorrhages. The former head of government passed away at 3.12 this morning. While well, the police are still questioning him, this brutal death leaves a tragic vacuum in the political arena. This murder is explained by the hatred had for former head of government's policy. Whole... Um... My... I literally just died to being stabbed to death by a bull. I don't think I've ever <laughs> had this happen in this game before. Um, I'm gonna continue as... I'm gonna use the God and Spy to continue. Um, nothing technically changes aside from the fact that I'm a different person. But... I'm just very surprised that, that out of all the ways to go, that was one way to go. Yeah, I'm not gonna, that was like a random event. I'm not gonna um, lose the game to a random event that's bull. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, I'll just play as this person, Sally Quad Quadali. So the, the queen is dead. But we have a new queen. All hail the new queen. And how ironic that it's another female. Um, instead of like a male president or something. Um, all right. I'm very surprised. I, I've never had that happen before. see incompetent policy blah 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 bad figures for unemployment unemployment is really not that bad lack of spaces in secondary schools right so we technically hadn't done that yet all right well i'll just leave it as is we have a budget deficit now i'm gonna go ahead and kick in that other health issue that seemed like it was a good idea but probably isn't uh, which was the tax exemptions for companies using retirement as capital because I guess I get a budget economy for that and everybody loves it. But if they love it just as much as raising the entire retirement age, then we will probably see our new president also stabbed by a bull. <laughs> no, old folks seem to love it, so. I'd love to have a budget economy like that. Is the inflation still going down? Hot diggity dog, 35%. And lowering. The housing sector is not doing well, but it's nevertheless an essential factor for the well-being of the population. Let's give everyone in the country the chance to have a decent roof over their heads. Let's build, renew, and subsidize. Um, well, no regulations. In index linked rent increases, rent capped. Might not be a bad idea or index, index linked rent Increases limits on rent increases can halt building speculation and price inflation, and so has an effect on purchasing power. The trade-off is reduced investment in rental housing and an impact on the building sector in the long term, more or less. Um, so it'll slow down housing building, which isn't um, or building of housing, which isn't a bad idea or isn't a bad thing because I'm going to continue to repair dilapidated housing. So I'll just put government money into building housing. In return, it'll increase uh, and have an effect on purchasing power. So we're going to go for index linked rent increases for now. Especially since I'm giving reduced rate loans and uh, yeah, I'm giving reduced rate loans to people who uh, 
people who buy um, land to build more houses. So I'm not opposed to capping that out. And North Korea dropped the second atomic bomb. One of my so I feel like we actually did a pretty good thing here because we completely abolished social security, which is just trash anyways. And then we uh, just basically gave incentives to businesses to provide pensions, which is a way better system than social security anyways. So I'm totally good with this. Just kind of forward it from government control to private or um, yeah, from government control to private sector control, which I would rather do regardless. Um, companies will handle pensions way better than the government's going to handle social security. I mean, we've already, we're in a budget deficit. So we've obviously already spent all these poor bastards secure <laughs> social security money anyways. Oh my God. We're in June though. So we got to be pretty close to this being done over here. If I could zoom in, damn. Getting close. You are a fool. Your faithful friend. Well, you're not my friend friend anymore. How's that sound? Journalist kidnapped, don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Okay. That means the Secret Service is not doing its job. What, what's going on? Inf infiltrate, um, organizations being dismantled, infiltrated. Are we still surveillancing people? Because I've got freaking Mohammed Jihad here running around and he's kidnapping journalists, which, you know, whatever, journalists, I could care less. They're all probably... They all probably talk crap behind me, my back anyways, but it makes people upset. So we got to deal with it. Uh, your, although your, your, our action day did not fulfill all its goals, certain areas were nevertheless strongly active. Whatever. All these communist parties and such. I might ban another political party here in the future. Did I ever nationalize? There was something in fighter jets. I don't think I ever did. We did helicopters. I did all of that. I want fighter jets. Or fighter planes or whatever. Throw a 20 million subsidy in there. Nationalization sector under control of the state. And confirm that. So we can start buying jets. For our own country really you know what just clear these guys out nope, some pe some innocent people died what a shame but that ended it pretty quickly didn't it the decree takes we have subdued the rebel movement this Now how's the budget? It's going up. Public finances as well. North Korea taking two bombs straight to Japan and just yeeting their freaking capital and then dropping it right over here. Like 80,000 people dead there. I cannot believe that Japan is not surrendering. Like what a typical Japanese thing to do. 250,000 people died and then 83,000. Encouraging unemployment reduction. I can invest some more money here if I wanted to. There's also some other stuff. Establish the allowance paid to job seekers. The purpose of this benefit is to give the job seeker the income necessary during the period when he or she is actively seeking work. Um, I'd rather just abolish this completely. That would save me a lot of money. And people would love it. <laughs> um... Minimum wage. You're not even going to touch that. And I hate everything about this. But people get so salty. The duration of the average working week. 43 hours, huh? Probably lower it to 41. I don't know. 
40 hours seems to be the golden lo Goldilocks zone. People like it like that. The length has an impact on the time the job seeker has to find paid work before unemployment benefit is taken away. Okay, I'd, I'd much rather reduce this. Okay, first of all, 20 months, like who, who the heck takes a year and some change to freaking find a job? Let's lower this maybe. Now, people don't like it. I bet if we put it to zero though, people love zero. It's like their favorite. <laughs> all right, we, we won't touch any of this, but I will um, maybe raise something here. Help for employing young people. That can't be a bad thing. Oh, Jesus. You know what? We're just going to leave that whole. <laughs> We're just going to leave all that alone. We'll come back to it another time. All right. I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, pretty good place to leave it. We do have a budget access a little bit over uh, here at 0.67. So that's not too bad. I um, still have a bunch in the Treasury Reserve. I think in the next episode, we may see our plant built. Maybe. Yeah, we might. If not, then the next, definitely the next after that. Uh, things looking pretty good, though, other than our, you know, supreme ruler getting completely gored by a horn. Um, everything else is going pretty good. How's inflation look? Mmm, yum. Below 35% now, that's not bad. I think that, uh, like I said, once we get down to 30%, I'm going to lower wages a little bit. People are going to get really salty about it. I'll take a few bucks away here or there. It'll uh, save us a little bit more money. And then next episode, we'll work on taxation. I'm going to do a big company turnover tax, probably. Um, maybe. I'll think about that. And then there's a couple things here I'd like to spend money on as well. Probably nuclear threats now that <laughs> North Korea is just nuking whoever they don't like. <laughs> maybe not a bad idea. Uh All these hostage situations. The Secret Service has only four organizations left to dismantle. We're going to go to war with somebody too. I think Congo next episode. And we'll deal with that. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>